Let's do this. Watch and learn. Hear that? Death's not good. Hit him where it hurts. This is where Draven shines. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to play Draven. So Draven is a champion for those who really likes to play those high risk, high reward champions who can destroy people in the laning phase and absolutely take over the game. The Q is your main ability guys, once you activate it then you will have that spinning X and you can have up to 2 spinning X's at once. You can use 3 when you are at the later stages of the game but early game you have 2 at once guys and then once you auto attack then he's going to throw it. And then that axe will drop on the ground, you can walk over and pick it up, and once you do that, then that axe is going to be ready again. Now every single time you pick up that axe, then you get a stack of your passive. And you can of course keep stacking that up, and what it does is that whenever you get a kill guys, then you're going to get bonus gold depending on how many stacks you are able to get, so this is like a mini game. And this is also what makes him so high risk, high reward. That if you're able to get that, get that many stacks and then get a kill guys, you're going to get an insane amount of gold. But if you die, then you're going to lose most of your stacks. So if you were wondering why some Draven players are so toxic, this passive is pretty much the reason. And your W is going to give you a short burst of movement speed and some attack speed and it is going to reset every single time you pick up an X, so this is great for chasing down people. What's really important here is that you can decide where the X is going to drop. It is not random because it's going to drop in the direction you are moving towards. So you can use that to manipulate the position where the axe will drop, so you can use that to your advantage. And that's something that's really important to know when you play Draven. Um, so of course in the laning phase you are looking to play this very aggressive. This is a champion that really wants to dominate the laning phase and really destroy people, get those kills. Snowball with that passive. You are going to get double gold so if you have 100 stacks then you're going to get you have 100 stacks you get a kill then you're going to get uh, 200 gold and then plus that uh, base gold bonus So if you have even more stacks, which you should, if you farm properly guys, then you're going to get even more gold. So you can end up getting a ton of kills or you'll end up running it down because you get punished so hard on this champion if you ever die. So you want to keep two axes active at all times and of course it's only active for a short duration so if it's about to run out and you don't really have anything to auto attack, then you can use that Q to refresh the timer. Try to have two axes active at all times. And your E is a displacement ability. You can use that to cancel channeling abilities, cancel dashes and so on. For example, we are playing against the Sactus game and if he tries to dash to us, then if I time it well, then I can use that E to cancel him out. You can also do that E plus flash if you want to catch somebody off guard. You know, if you know they are within kill range and you, they have flash or something out, then you can use that combo to catch them off guard and then burst them down before they can escape.
But if you're looking to last hit all the minions without losing a single one, because you also get some extra gold there from the passive, or passive stacks that you can potentially turn into gold. Farming is really important, staying alive is also really important, especially on this champion. Because it can be very frustrating when you manage to get a bunch of stacks, but then you end up dying. So try to keep two axes active at all times, and then you're looking to play it aggressive. Now the thing is, your Q and your ultimate has insane AD scaling. That's why when you look at Draven players, they prioritize getting AD items over attack speed. Um, you pretty much don't really buy that much attack speed in the early game. AD carries typically get a um, attack speed. Uh, attack damage item and then they go into attack speed and then attack damage again but draven is so um able to go almost completely ad because that's going to give you a lot of burst on your q and your ultimate and you already get some attack speed from your w because you can start zoning away the opponent um AD carries in the early game will not be able to match your DPS guys, you have insane amount of damage. Look at that crazy early game damage guys. I got the psych passive down as well. Then not able to do anything at all. I could have E flashed onto the side here as well, but now I have the ultimate up, so it's a global ability guys. Once it hits an enemy champion, then it will return and also deal damage again. Just like that. And the thing is, you can recast it. Uh, what's really good to know is that if you recast it just before it hits the enemy champion, then it returns sooner, so it's harder for them to dodge the second part of this ultimate. But yeah, your Q and your ultimate has ridiculous AD scaling, so AD components are super super important. We're gonna go for the shield bow as the first item. You can go for a lot of different mythic items, but this one is generally the safest one to use, cause you also get a lot of life steal, so you can stay in lane for longer. And it's also really good against assassins, until they get serpent's fang, because then your shield is pretty much gone. Just looking to dominate the landing phase, that's something you always want to focus on when you play Draven. It's a champion you pick for the landing phase, not for the late game. He has a lot of damage at all stages of the game. But a hyper carry is going to outshine him times a million later on in the game. You pick this champion to dominate the early and the mid game. Nice, so I'm popping off this game as we should do on Draven. The passive though, it's really important that in order to actually get that passive goal, you have to be the one to last it the enemy champion. Assist do not count. A lot of people don't know this. Um, so it can be really frustrating. That you don't get the kill, so if you're playing with a Draven and you see he has a lot of passive stacks, then let him get the kill, because he's going to get a lot more value from it. Pretty easy dive as well, we do have the Lulu with us, she has pretty nice shields and bonus movement speed, so we're able to do that, and of course since the W resets every single time you pick up a next and you also get a ton of movement speed by yourself.
We got the shield bow now, so that's a big power spike. Now we're just gonna itemize even more 80 items. We're gonna go to, into the collector here, so it gives some really nice early game stats as well. Fully lethality and 80 carries are not buying armor early on in the game, so you're gonna shred them. We need to go ahead and help Volibear in case he's getting invaded. Thing is, this champion is really, really difficult to play, guys. Um, planning phase is not that hard, but when you get to those team fights, a really chaotic team fight, you have to keep in mind the X, while the X is drop, while also focusing on the fight itself and. Once you get really good at this champion, then you'll be able to use three axes at once. That's like his high DPS, um, high DPS way of fighting. You know, three axes at once is going to add insane amount of damage. People will not be able to match that early on. So, but of course, it also requires requires you to be able to auto attack constantly. You also need to prepare your axes, so you have make sure that you have two axes active before the fight actually starts. Or just one axe active and then your Q is also ready. That is important because otherwise you'll be losing out on a lot of damage while the fight starts, so there are a lot of small things that you have to be aware of when playing Draven. Also, of course, CC can be really annoying because people can stop you from picking up the axes as well, so it's very difficult to play, probably one of the hardest AD carries in the game. But it is a 1 vs 9 champion, high risk, high reward, so if you're looking for that, then this might actually be the perfect choice for you. We can just go ahead and recall here, we have a lot of gold. We can go straight for the collector normally, when you play a normal AD carry you get the Berserkers first, but since Draven relies so much on those pure AD items, you want to go for the Mythic item and then another AD item and then you can go for Boots. In the mid game, uh, which is pretty much now, what you see a lot of Draven players do is that when they snowball, they just AFK bot lane, just AFK push, and then they just kill whoever walks up, even if it's the enemy jungler or four people are walking down, and that's how pretty much how you want to pressure. You can also rotate and group with your team, but since this champion is so strong in 1 vs 1s, you usually just push it down one lane with your support and just destroy whoever pops up. Just gonna keep pushing here, somebody comes up then we kinda kill them pretty much. See those Qs really deal a ridiculous amount of damage and that is because their scaling is absolutely insane with AD. And the same goes for your ultimate as well, so Assassin Draven is also possible to play where you get um, Assassin Mythic items like the Prolos Claw into more lethality, that's also possible. Nice. So it is really easy to play when you snowball like this, um, there is very low counterplay. It's a champion that snowballs really, really hard and also very difficult to shut down once he's ahead. Especially if you have a support like Lulu who can peel for you really well. We can go ahead and recall. 
getting a lot of gold on his recall and it looks like they are going to FF so that was the video I hope this was helpful as always see you guys in the next one